What's up guys? It's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com. Today we are not talking about the tarantulas. We are actually talking about my dubia cockroaches. This is something that you guys have been kind of interested in aside from my tarantula stuff and occasional updates on the jealous cat. Almost had a cockroach emergency just now. <laughs> and, uh, and so um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to rehome and rehouse my uh, cockroaches. You guys have been kind of interested in how I feed my tarantulas and how I take care of the cockroaches and keep them alive. I've spoken a lot about cockroaches being my preferred feeder because they are just so hardy. They reproduce. I barely ever have to go out and get cockroaches because of that. And so um, I, if you search my channel, you can definitely find my older cockroach care videos. And I've learned quite a bit more since that video, thanks to you guys. Um, I actually had, I ended up with, I think two or three generations of cockroaches in one of my little tanks. And um, I had actually bought another set of baby cockroaches because um, Blinky was not eating. And, and Blinky, you guys know, is my tiny Arizona blonde sling who technically shouldn't be a sling anymore because it's been a few years, but they're still the size of my nail. So that is what it is. So the roaches grew faster than Blinky was and became too big. So I had to buy some more babies. But once I got the babies, wouldn't you know that like a month later, my other roach colony decided to have babies. So I really could have held on. So now I have two colonies of roaches. Um, they're growing very fast. So I probably have to get more babies uh, unless I want to wait for another a brood of roaches to happen. And you guys had given me some really great advice in the comments. I, uh, someone had said that it is actually safe to combine the colonies and would actually be healthy for them to kind of like diversify. So um, that was one of the reasons why I was keeping them in their separate uh, colonies and, and tanks because I was afraid of like co-mingling the, the cockroach families, but apparently that's okay to do. And um, I'm excited for that because as much as I don't like other insects besides spiders, um, and I do like bumblebees too, I think they're very cute, but that's pretty much it, and butterflies. I don't really like cockroaches. I think they're pretty uh, gross. I don't like having to like interact with them or whatever, but I will say that slowly these guys are growing on me. I don't think I'll ever get to the point of where I think of them like I do spidey or blanky or my you know tarantulas in general because i've always just liked spiders <laughs> but they, you know they're not as gross as they used to be <laughs> they're definitely better than super worms and crickets which i used to feed the tarantulas i'll take cockroaches over those things any day so we're gonna combine the cockroaches i have a bigger enclosure for them now and um I'm gonna be giving them a new clean tank. Um, one comment that I gotten is that they need bigger space, um, especially if I'm gonna combine them. So I am excited. I have a, one bigger tank, not too big, but enough room for all of them, I think. And you guys, I hope will let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. And I'm also gonna give them some new substrate, some more hiding spots, some food. Um, yeah, and I'm just really excited. Um, I think it's time. One thing you guys had told me about, I, I can't remember who the, the YouTube viewer was, but someone had, you know, besides saying, yes, you can uh, combine the colonies, also raised some concerns about the substrate and the cleanliness of my tanks. And I think that's a really valid point. I had a lot of substrates in there in the cockroaches old tanks, and that does certainly pose um, an issue when it when it's time for cleaning. Um, you know, it does make it more complicated. So. I do think that the cockroaches are comfortable on a certain amount of substrate. However, I know you don't need to provide that. So I think my goal with this new enclosure is to maybe do a less of a layer of substrate just so that they have something to, you know, touch other than the plastic. But maybe what I'll do is I will um, also put more hiding places so that I don't have to put as much substrate and that will hopefully you know, make take changes a lot easier. But yeah, I'm excited to take you guys on for the ride. So this is the mess I just made while I was talking. <laughs> Luckily, no cockroaches fell out. Um, these are the two tanks, the two colonies that I'm going to be combining. As you can see, this was the original one, the parents and their little babies who are almost not babies. There's a lot in there. 
And these were the babies that I bought for Blinky who are now obviously adolescents or, you know, big children. Uh, it's really crazy how my cockroaches are actually growing faster than my spider. Um, and this is where they're going. I, I just washed the lid, but it's like a really cool, um, you know, just a really cool snap lid. The holes are all here for ventilation. I'm pretty sure that they, the roaches, one, don't really climb very well, but also they keep, they're too big to get through that. So that makes me happy. And yeah, I'm really excited because it's gonna give them more room. And, and the lid's being cleaned right now because I had to take the sticker off. So I'm just gonna put this, uh, I've got some hiding spots for them, just egg cartons. Um, not being too picky about the substrate. I've got this stuff. I've also got some peat moss. And the reason that I am doing this is because Spidey and Blinky, I had bought these bags for them. And they actually don't really, they're like whatever about it. Um, I noticed that Blinky doesn't really like digging with this stuff. It really likes the coconut fiber. Um, and Spidey really enjoys the coconut fiber. So I'm going to use this for the roaches since they're not picky. Okay, so we've got the two little substrates, a very thin layer, as you can see. And then we've got some cardboard egg carton pieces in there for hiding and also as little food dishes. It actually came with this little like black plastic thing. I think it's supposed to be for water, but um, the roaches, uh, the way I've been taking care of them, usually just get their moisture from food. Um, so, um, yeah, so now I'm going to one by one, uh, kind of sift through the old substrate and find the roaches and put them back, uh, put them in their new home. And these are green apples. I'm putting more in this time because there's going to be more roaches in here. And I, I think they're going to interact really peacefully with each other, but I don't want any fights, especially as we've got really little ones entering this enclosure and interacting with the big ones. Um, so yeah, who will be the first? This one, I'm trying to be very gentle because one, I don't wanna hurt them, but also I really hate this. <laughs> Actually, I need to turn the camera off because I'm definitely gonna lose one of them. Okay, the first colony is in. This was actually the family, several generations of roaches in one. There's a few big adults in here. Um, they were hiding or attacking the apples. There's one, the big one. And uh, there we go. And there's lots of little ones. I actually found a lot of like, kind of like little ones, but kind of not little ones like that one. And then I found some really small ones maybe they're new babies or just really slow growers, but um, yeah, so I found ones that Blinky might, might even be able to eat, so that is a good thing. And I'm going to now introduce the newer colony. Got some adolescents in this one. Um, I'm excited because they've never met, and so I think it'll be really cool. Oh, one is struggling over there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how cockroaches socialize. I'm excited. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm not even done yet with the second colony, but this is so cool. I don't know who everybody is, like who is the new versus the old colony, but it looks like everybody's getting along. And I, I think this is actually really interesting. Okay, well, everything went wonderfully. Everybody's in there. I'm so surprised that as I was going through both colonies, there was such minimal deaths um, as far as, you know, little carcasses that I might have found. Um, they were all very small babies, so I think that they were roaches that just, you know, didn't make it maybe weren't healthy enough. Um, I can't say that would have been the same case if there had been mealworms or superworms or crickets because um, I would say that those are probably because of cannibalism because that's what those guys do. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but over here we have somebody giving somebody a piggyback. Uh, so cute. Um, yeah, so much cool stuff is happening. I think they're commingling very well. And I really actually enjoy having this really nice variety of big ones and little ones together. I think that's really cool. So, um, yeah, I think it went really well. This is a really cool experience. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens as, uh, as they continue to get used to each other. So yeah, went very well, hoping that they continue to get along. And I'm sure that the little ones are happy to have actual parents now or grown-ups around. What's happening over here? <laughs> I just want to make sure they're not attacking each other. He's stepping on the little one. What is going on? <laughs> Okay, no violence. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm very excited. I'm sure I'll be reporting on this more. I really, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I thought this container was going to be big enough, but now that I see just how many I actually had, um, I might want to get a bigger one. So I think um, this is great for now. At least they have more room than they had, but it's just that there's there's more of them in there. So I might be expanding to something bigger, especially if they have more babies. So yeah, I like it. I think that like with the more space, they kind of feel like they're in a little playground and with their friends, that's what at least what I like to think of. <laughs> and uh, there's more food in there too, because I don't want them necessarily competing either, more hiding spots. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for all the advice you guys have given me um, about how to take care of roaches. Um, I didn't actually think that I would be doing this. I really only got roaches because of my tarantulas, but since my tarantulas don't like to eat often enough, I guess now I have pets. Cockroaches. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. See you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Bye.